Good morning. So in this in this video, um, we're we're going to solve uh, problems wherein wherein we have multiple reactions. Basically, basically, kamukha pa rin nung ano no? Kamukha pa rin nung last topic natin, wherein we're using the extent of the reaction concept to find the number of moles of each chemical species. Yun nga lang, ang unique sa video na to is we're going to consider problems wherein we have multiple reactions. Unlike, unlike the previous video na yung kinonsider natin, isa lamang yung reaction. <clears throat> okay, so let, let me share you the uh, Basically, ang difference lang naman is uh, we're, we're going to use a new equation kasi nga multiple reaction uh, other than the, ano, the, the normal extent of the reaction equation. Bali, extended equation yung gagamitin natin to, to consider multiple reactions. So let me share you the, the power of it. Okay, so <clears throat> this is this is our new equation. So now that we're going to use for multiple reactions, <clears throat> and as you can see, this is the same concept, the same concept of extent of a reaction. E, no, <clears throat> we're going to use the concept of extent of a reaction uh, to solve the number of moles <clears throat> in a given problem. But this time we have multiple reactions. So the first equation uh, is N sub I out. So if you still remember, N sub I out is the number of moles of a chemical species at the, at the, after the reaction, no? <clears throat> is equal to basically N sub I in. So that's the initial number of moles in the, in the feed no? of the chemical species. Plus summation from J is equals to R i j is equals to 1 until r no b, b sub i j so b sub i j is the again this is the stoichiometric coefficient of a particular chemical species <clears throat> times uh, the extent of the reaction for the particular reaction so how how do we how do we justify the first equation? <clears throat> Let me <clears throat> scribble some notes. No? So as you can see, this is this equation. It's just the same as the ordinary extent of the reaction equation. So the ordinary extent of the reaction equation is N sub I minus N sub I O divided by B sub I. Now, if we're going to isolate N sub I, this N sub I is the N sub I out, and this N sub I O is the N sub I in. You know? <clears throat> if we're going to isolate N sub I or n sub i out. So let me rewrite this. You know? So n sub i is just the same as n sub i out. And n sub i o is just the same as n sub i in. And then divided by b sub i. <coughs> b sub i pa rin naman sa kabila. Ano? So I'm going to isolate n sub, n sub i out. If we're going to isolate n sub i out, you need to transpose B sub I to the other side of the equation. So <clears throat> basically, you're going to get uh, E times B sub I. So this E is the same as your epsilon. No? E times B sub I. And then on, on, on this side, you will have N sub I out 
minus n sub r t. <clears throat> You're going to isolate n sub i out. This will be summation uh, epsilon times b sub i plus n sub i in. Okay. So notice the <clears throat> notice the similarity of this equation and the last equation. Sorry, sorry. Notice the similarity of these two equations. Huh? Notice the similarity of these two equations. Notice the similarity of these two equations. So, ito yung n sub i in. Tapos ito yun. Tapos itong summation of b sub i times e, F, uh, extent of the reaction, ito yun. Ano? Yun nga lang, <clears throat> For, for this particular problem that we're going to so solve later, we have, we, you can use this for two or more reactions. So that's why meron, it, meron itong summation. No? Ganun lamang. Ganun lang yung justification niyang, ano, niyang, niyang equation na yun. So if we have multiple reactions and then we're just going to take the sum of the uh, epsilon times B sub I, ito naman, constant naman kung N sub I, ano, kahit ng multiple reaction. Kung ilan, ilan yung number of moles na pumapasok <coughs> uh, dun sa reaction. And then you'll be able to find out the number of moles of particular chemical species uh, that is still present after the reaction. Okay? So I, I hope you, <coughs> you get this justification. So the next, the next equation, this is an equation that we can use to double check, no? If, kasi we're, we're going to solve lots of numbers, ano? So may tendency talaga na magkaroon ng, ano, ng carelessness, no? Carelessness error. <clears throat> so we need, a, we need a method to double check our solution. So actually, hindi naman necessary gawin itong... Ano, itong second equation. Pero, syempre, maganda rin kung madodouble check niyo yung, ano, yung solution nyo. <clears throat> so, the second equation gives you the total number of moles. And, and here is the total number of moles no? in the product. And summation of n sub i out. So, you can see summation of n sub i out. So, this is total number of moles in the product. Ano? Ito yun. <clears throat> so, if you will imagine, if, if after solving the problem and then you have the N sub I out of all the chemical species, so basically, all you need to do is add, add all those values and then you're going to come up with N. Okay. Ang problema dyan, if one, if one of your calculation is wrong, you will have an error in calculating n. No? So, in order to double check that, if, if, if all your calculations are correct, we are going to use this equation. No? So, basically, this is just summation of n sub i in, no? plus the summation of all b sub i times e sub i from all of the reactions. So basically parang it's just you just added no yung sum nung lahat nung equation number 1 we're going to call this equation number 1 you just you're just uh, getting the sum of all the you know, equation number 1 kumbaga you're just doing this ito itong portion na to ito yon tapos itong portion na to <clears throat> ito yon parang inuulit ni lamang ano Pero siyempre, pag inulit nyo, tapos iba yung order ng, parang iba lang yung order ng addition nyo, uh, most probably you can, you can, ano, you can, you can isolate the error. No? So pag hindi sila parehas, yung na-calculate nyo yung n total, at saka ito, mer meron kayong error na na-commit sa calculation ng n sa bayaw. So basically, pang-double check ano? 
<clears throat> so I, I hope you can you can understand the mathematics. When well, when you when you get the sum of n sub i outs, it's it's just like getting the sum of the n initials and the sums of I know, b sub i, e sub i, uh, for all of the reactions. So I hope you can you can imagine how how this equation is being derived. Na ako hindi naman mahalaga yan. Pero ano naman kasi yan? Parang obvious naman yun, ano? Kung baga it doesn't need an a justification. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to uh, use these two equation in order to solve problem 10.2. Let's go to the um, Okay, so this is problem 10.3. <clears throat> Material balances for a process in which two simultaneous reactions occur. I think you can you can use this uh, equation, yung diniscuss natin dalawang equation, to solve for probably even two or three. Pero seldom naman mangyari. Usually, dalawang reactions lang yung ano, no? nangyayari. <clears throat> kung, kung pag tinignan nyo, yung dalawang reaction usually they, they are in series, ano, one after the other. Kung minsan, pwede rin parallel, pero muda lang din yung din. Ano? Usually, it's a series. Okay, so let's consider this. <clears throat> formaldehyde. This is formaldehyde. Um, we're going to have your organic chemistry. This is the uh, chemical species that is dissolved in water to form your formalin. Yung formalin. <clears throat> so this is produced industrially by the catalytic oxidation of methanol. So methanol is CH3OH. So narinig na rin siguro yung methanol. Ano? Yung yung nagkakos ng death sa lambanog, you know, methanol. <clears throat> According to the following reaction, so methanol plus one half oxygen will give you formaldehyde and water. Okay, that's the first reaction. Ito yung unang reaction. Ano? Ah. Unfortunately, under the condition used to produce formaldehyde at a profitable rate, a significant portion of the formaldehyde reacts with oxygen to produce CO and H2O. That is, CH2O plus one-half O2 will give you carbon monoxide plus water. So, merong side reaction. Then, as you can see, ang, ang product na gusto natin, yung formaldehyde, yung CH2O. Kaya lang, yung half reaction, kinoconvert siya sa carbon monoxide plus water. No? So, and this, yung, yung reaction number two is generally the undesired reaction. Assume that methanol and twice the stoichiometric amount of air needed for complete conversion of CH3OH to the desired product CH2O and H2O are fed to the reactor. So, <clears throat> hindi pure oxygen yung gagamitin natin. Ano? As you can see from the statement of the problem, let me... Let me annotate the end. Okay. So, as you can see from the statement of the problem, we are going to use air <coughs> rather than pure oxygen. You know? So we're going to use air rather, rather than pure oxygen. <coughs> so aside from oxygen, ang consequence nito, meron tayong nitrogen. And then you're going to use the ratio. You need to remember that for every 79 moles of nitrogen in air, you, uh, there will be you know, 21 moles of oxygen present. Needed for complete conversion of CH3OH to the desired product CH2O and H2O. <clears throat> also assume that 90% conversion of the methanol results. So, alimbawa, we're going to assume now 100 moles of uh, methanol enters the reactor. Ibig sabihin ng 90% conversion, uh, 90, 90 moles ng methanol, mawawala. No? mako-convert yun sa formaldehyde. 
So one is to one naman, di ba? So you're, you're going to have one mole of formaldehyde and one mole of water. <clears throat> also, uh, and that A, 75% yield of formaldehyde occurs based on theoretical production of formaldehyde by reaction 1. <clears throat> okay. So paano nangyari yun? Di ba sabi na nga, 90% ng methanol na convert into formaldehyde. So you're expecting there will be 90% yield of formaldehyde. Ano? Pero sabi sa problem, 75% lang daw. So 75% lang yung naging yield kasi yung halimbawa, yung 15 moles no, yung 15 moles ng formaldehyde uh, nag-undergo siya ng second reaction. So na-convert sa carbon monoxide at water. Ganun yung ano, no? Ganun yung interpretation ng problem. Okay, so you are asked to determine the composition of the product. That means the percentage of each gas in the product leaving the reactor. Okay, so basically, paano ba ito isosolve? Uh, so the first step. The first step is really to calculate the ano, the epsilon or the extent of the reaction of the first reaction and the second reaction. So how are you going to calculate the, ano, the extent of the reaction of the first reaction? So basically, ganun din yun. N sub i minus N sub i O divided by B sub i. So tingnan nyo lamang kung ano yung species yung available in data. <clears throat> so pwede nyo, malimbawa, mag-assume mag kayo na 1 mole ng methanol yung pumasok sa reactor. So, available yung initial ng ano, N sub IO ng methanol. 1 mole. Tapos, 90% yung na-convert. So, ibig sabihin, kung 90%, ang matitirang methanol, 0.1 na lang. And then, ang kanyang B sub I ay negative 1. Diba? Ganyan lang yun. So, you can, you can, you can calculate the e, E1. No? The extent of the reaction of the first reaction. <clears throat> so, yung sa second reaction naman, uh, kasi 75% lang ano <clears throat> so yung yung point <clears throat> uh, yung parang halimbawa yung yung point 15 mole ng ano ng formaldehyde no yung point 15 mole ng formaldehyde magko-convert sa carbon monoxide so ang mangyayari diyan <clears throat> initially okay for the, for the second reaction, initially there will be a uh, 0.9 mole of formaldehyde and then after the conversion, magiging 0. 0.75 na lamang yung, ano, yung, yung formaldehyde nyo for, for the second reaction. And then ang kanyang ano, negative 1 pa rin, ang kanyang stoichiometric coefficient. So that's, that's the first step. Calculate the extent of the reaction of the first reaction and the extent of the reaction of the second reaction. <clears throat> So after calculating that, uh, probably, pwede nyo nang i-calculate kung how many moles of, palimbawa, of methanol is still present. Di ba? Agamitin lang natin yung, form, yung bagong formula natin, yung N sub I plus the summation of uh, epsilon times V sub I. So makakalculate na natin yung uh, number of moles ng bawat species na nandun sa reaction. Plus, don't forget to calculate the number of moles of nitrogen. Yung nitrogen naman hindi nagre-react. So kung ano yung kung ano yung number of moles niya initially, yun din yung number of moles niya sa product. Ganun lang yun, ano? And then get the sum of the of all the uh the moles of all the chemical ano species present. So that will give you the number of the total number of moles. Tapos calculate na lang yung percentages. So and to double check your work you can, you can use the second equation. Yung second formula to calculate the total number of moles. So check nyo kung yung total number of moles uh, the same, yung sa na-calculate nyo based on the first equation. So pag parehas, ibig sabihin, tama lahat yung ginawa nyo calculation. No? So, yun, ganun lang. Medyo mahaba nga lang ng konti. No? Pero I, I hope you find this, ano, you find the technique logical. Basically, ganun din. You're, you're going to use the extent of the reaction to find the, the number of moles, no? The number of moles in the product of its chemical species. Okay, so let's let's start. Let's start by calculating the, 
the extent of the reaction. So, ang basis natin, you can use 100 or 1. Uh, ano na lang gagamitin ko? Ano? Ang basis ko na lang is 1 mole of methanol. That's CH3OH. Okay? Enter the reactor. This is your P, na? Okay? So, I'm going to calculate the E for the first reaction. I'm going to use the data for methanol. So this is basically N1, N sub I, minus N sub I O, divided by B sub I. So, since methanol din lang kasi yung present, <clears throat> no? Uh, tapos 90% yung conversion. So, ang matitira na lamang ay 0 0.10. 90% kasi yung conversion ng 1, ano? This is remember the equation on how to calculate this n sub i pag may conversion. So it's just n sub i, n sub i o times 1 minus x. Yun lang yun, ano? So alimbawa, we have, you have 1, tapos 1 minus 0 0.9. So this will give you 0 0.1. Ito yung n sub i. And then n sub i o, yun yung basis natin is 1. And then take a look at the first reaction. <coughs> Uh, ang methanol ay reactant. So, negative 1 yung kanyang isang ay. So, ang extent ng first reaction ay, this is negative 0.9 divided by negative 1. This will give you 0 0.9. <clears throat> okay. So, extent of the reaction 2. So, ganun ulit. Ano? The same equation. N sub i minus N sub I O divided by B sub I. <clears throat> so, ang available din natin data for, for the reaction 2 is still our methanol. Ito pa rin yung available. Yan na. <clears throat> so, itong, itong 0 0.9 mole na to ng methanol, Papasok siya dun sa, ay sorry, for, for, ano na pala to? Formaldehyde na, ano? Uh, sorry, formaldehyde na pala to. Ayun, no, ipala to, ipala to. <clears throat> Pero ano, ano lang, ito to, kasi 90% yung conversion, so 0.9 mole yung, ano, yung formaldehyde natin, ano? Initially, 0.9 mole siya. Tapos ang makukonvert dito, 15, 0.15, ano? So, <clears throat> Ang, ang final concentration nung, ano, nung formaldehyde, itong CH2O, ay 0.75. Diba? Kasi minus 0.15. Okay? So 0.75 yung initial. Tapos 0 0.9 yung initial. Ito yung final. No? Kasi na-convert yung 0.15 sa carbon monoxide. I hope you can follow that. And then again, ang kanyang bisabay or stoichiometric coefficient kasi in the second reaction, ang formaldehyde ay reactant, negative 1 din. So, this is negative 0.15 divided by negative 1. Ang, ang extent of the second reaction ay 0. Okay? So, after, after doing this, you're now ready to calculate the ano. So, just, just try to remember ano. E1 is 0.9 and then E2 is 0 0.15. Anyway, susulat naman natin. Let, let me just clear this out para may space pa tayong ano. <clears throat> space pa tayong pagsulatan ng solution. Okay, so just just try to remember no, na ang ating E1, extent of the reaction 1, is uh, 0 0.9 and then supposed to be dapat kaya niyo yun. E2 I 0 0.15. And then, if you still remember, ang ating equation ay N sub I or N sub I out, kung gusto niyo, ako N sub I na lang, ano? N sub I is equals to N sub I in, ito yung N sub I O ko, minus summation of, okay, B sub I times E sub I. 
Ano lang yan. Na? So, kukonsider nyo yung first reaction at saka second reaction. <clears throat> so, for example, yung ano, yung methanol. No? So, let's let's try to solve the number of moles of methanol. Okay? <clears throat> so, initially, meron tayong 1 mole of ethanol. Di ba? Ito yung basis natin. Initially. This is your, this is our N sub IO. Ano? Ito yun. This is our N sub IO. <clears throat> Tapos, ah, uh, Doon muna tayo sa first reaction. We're going to get the summation of B sub I, E sub I. <clears throat> okay? So, in this particular case, ang, ang B sub I ng ethanol ay negative 1. I think this is positive. Ano? It's positive. It's positive. Sorry, sorry. <clears throat> So, ang, ang B sub I ng methanol, kasi nga reactant siya ay negative 1 sa first reaction. Tapos, ang E sub I ng first reaction ay 0 0.9. Okay? So, I hope you can you can follow that. <clears throat> so, yun na yun. Yun yun sa methanol. Tapos, sa second reaction, uh, plus, ang, ang B sub I sa second reaction ng methanol ay, may B sub I ba dito? Second reaction, may methanol ba dito? So, pag wala, zero yung B sub I niya. Okay? Tapos, i-add nyo yung 0 0.15 times na 0 0.15. Anyway, 0 and times another number is just this 0. So, wala rin lamang ito. Ano? So, as you can see, the number of moles of uh, methanol in the product, this is number of moles of methanol in the product, is 0 0.10. Ganun lang, ano? So let's let's try to do the other uh, the other chemical species. <laughs> so yun, subukan natin yung ano ah uh, at saka na muna tong oxygen. Mamaya mamaya natin gawin yung oxygen. Ito muna, itong uh, formaldehyde, no? Yung formaldehyde. Let's try formaldehyde. So Ganun din, ano? Yung number of moles Yung number of moles ng uh, formaldehyde, this is CH2O, I equal to the initial number of moles ng formaldehyde. Okay. <clears throat> Minus dun sa summation ng B sub I over times E sub I. Okay. So, initially, ilang ba yung formaldehyde na pumapasok sa reactor? Wala. ba Zero. Kasi, puro methanol lang yung pumapasok sa reactor. Tapos, eh, sorry, this is, this is supposed to be plus. <clears throat> Tapos plus, yung B sub I, E sub I sa first reaction. So, ano ang B sub I niya sa first reaction? So, ang B sub I niya sa first reaction ay positive 1. Kasi, product siya. No? So, positive 1. And then, ano ang E sub I? ng first reaction, 0.9. So, times 0.9. Okay. So, wala na, ano? Punta tayo sa second reaction. Sa second reaction, ito siya. Okay. So, plus, again, B sub I. Ano ang B sub I niya sa second reaction? <clears throat> so, sa second reaction, negative siya. No? Kasi reactant yung ano, formaldehyde. So, negative 1. <clears throat> Tapos ang isa ba yun ng secondary action ay 0 0.15. So as you can see, ang number of moles ng formaldehyde ay 0 0.75. Okay? Uh, let's 
let's try water, no? Let's try water. And then you saw also need to calculate carbon monoxide and then oxygen. <clears throat> so let's try water. So let's try water. Then, parang mas gusto ko na subukan na. Let's try N water. So initially, ganun ta rin yung equation natin ano? N H2O initial plus summation of B sub I times B sub I. So, initial water is zero. Wala nang pumapasok na water kasi puro methanol. Tapos, sa first reaction, ano ang stoichiometric coefficient ng water? So, so it would be positive one. Kasi product siya. Tapos, isa by of the first reaction is 0 0.9. Try nyo lang yung dalawa. <clears throat> Tapos, let's go to the second reaction. Product pa rin ng water. So, positive 1 pa rin. Tapos, the second, the second ano is E sub I is 0.15. Okay? So, for water, we have 1.05 1.05 of water. Okay? Probably, we should be clearing this out. We still need to calculate, ano, Carbon monoxide and oxygen. So, yun, medyo mabilis lang naman yung carbon monoxide. Pwede na natin isingit dito. So, number of moles of carbon monoxide. No? Zero yung initial. Tapos, sa first reaction, walang carbon monoxide. So, yung uh, B sub I, E sub I niya sa second reaction ay, sa first reaction ay zero. Tapos, sa second reaction, ang B sub I niya ay positive 1. Ang E sub, e sub 2, E sub I sa second reaction ay 0 0.15. So, ang carbon monoxide ay 0 0.15. <clears throat> okay. So, let me check first kung tama yung mga ginawa. Uh, CH3O8, 0.1. Tapos CH2O, 0.75. Tama? Tapos 1.05 yung H2O. Okay, tama? Tapos yung CO ay 0 0.15. <clears throat> so let's, let's try to calculate oxygen and nitrogen. I'm going to clear this out. And para may space tayo. Ano? Okay. Okay. Sabi, sabi sa problem, yun daw amount ng oxygen ay twice, no? Twice ng stoichiometric amount. Pag sinabi yung stoichiometric amount, yun yung exacto lang, no? Hindi siya excess. Pero sinabi twice, so from, from the first reaction, you can see that you need one half mole of oxygen for every mole of methanol. So, Pag sinabing twice, ibig sabihin yung one half, one half times two, uh, initially, no? Initial number of moles of oxygen ay one. No, this is 0 0.5 times two. <clears throat> okay. So, first, let's try to calculate the amount of nitrogen. Yung number of moles ng sorry, nitrogen. So, yung number of moles ng nitrogen initially at saka yung final number of moles ng nitrogen equal lang kasi hindi naman siya involved sa reaction. 
And then you can easily calculate this by using the ano, the conversion factor na 79 over 21. Ano? Kasi one mole of oxygen no, is accompanied by 79 mole of nitrogen for every 21 mole of oxygen. So this is approximately 79 over 21. Ano? It's approximately 3, 3 point something. 3.76. <clears throat> so you have 3.76 mole of nitrogen. <clears throat> okay, so let's let's try to calculate oxygen. Huh? <clears throat> Ganun din, uh, NO2 is equals to NO2I plus summation of uh, B sub I times E sub I. Okay? So, as you can see, NO2I is 1 mole plus sa <clears throat> first reaction, uh, ang B sub I natin ay negative 1 half kasi reactant ang oxygen. No? Kita nyo naman na. Taas. <clears throat> Tapos ang E sub I ng first reaction, if you still remember, ay 0 0.9. So, second reaction, ganun pa rin, reactant pa rin siya. So, may minus 1 half pa din. Tapos ang Extent of the reaction is 0 0.15. So, this will give you approximately for oxygen uh, 0 0.475. 0 So that's it. We 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 have all, we have calculated all the ano, all the the number of moles of each chemical species. You know, yun lang naman yun eh. Sa isa yun lamang yung reaction. <clears throat> so may natira pa tayong oxygen kaya may oxygen pa. Sure, merong nitrogen and all the other reactants and product ni sa dalawang reaction. So methanol, formaldehyde, carbon monoxide and water. <clears throat> okay. So, the next step is, in order to get the percentage, siyempre, kukunin yung total number of moles, tapos, you can, you can easily calculate the percentage. Ano? <clears throat> so, ito, ano? 3.76, add this up. 3.76 plus 0 0.475. <clears throat> and then, on the previous calculation, we have uh, methanol is 0 0.1. Diba? Number of moles of methanol na natira is 0 0.1 tapos ano po ba? Number of moles of formaldehyde is 0 0.75 Water Water is 1.05 is that all? Carbon monoxide is 0.15. Okay, I guess I guess that's that's all enough. <clears throat> we have six chemical species. So just add to get n total or n total number of moles. <clears throat> so that would be three point seventy six. That's your nitrogen plus point four seventy five. That's your oxygen plus point one plus point seventy five plus one point zero five plus point fifteen. So, mga 6.28, ano? 6.28. So, n total is around 6.28 or 6.28. Ano lang yun? 6.285. Okay? <clears throat> so, it's it's quite easy to calculate the percentages. Kayang-kaya yun yun. Ano? For example, um, 
yung nitrogen, no? So the percentage of nitrogen is simply 3.76 divided by 6.285 times 100 percent. So nitrogen percentage is. Fifty nine point eighty two percent. And then you can you can double check this. You know? Let's let's double check check this. So let's let's use the second equation and then let's try to find out if the total number of moles from the second equation is also equal to six point two eight five. So pan double check na lang, you know? so let, let me clear this one. Let's use the second equation. So from, from the second equation, the total number of moles is basically equal to summation of n sub i, the total n sub i, no? plus summation, double summation of b sub i, b sub i. <coughs> okay? So n, ano ba yung summation of n sub i? Ano ba yung pumapasok initially? Di ba methanol lang naman? at saka oxygen, at saka nitrogen. No? So, isang mole ng methanol, methanol is CH3OH, isang mole ng oxygen, pumapasok na, so this is the summation of N sub I. <coughs> Tapos, uh, isang mole ng ano ano uh, three we have ano three point seventy six mole ng nitrogen yun yung pumapasok sa reactor no initially tapos this term naman this term let's evaluate this term <clears throat> so for for the first reaction ang i natin for the first reaction is zero point nine para para sa mga zero point nine so let's factor that out and then let's add the ano let's add the b b sub i so, ang B sub I natin ay negative 1 for, for methanol, <clears throat> then negative 1 half no? for oxygen kasi reactant silang dalawa kaya negative-negative. Tapos plus, yung product natin ay formaldehyde positive 1 and 1 mole of water. Okay? Zero point nine times negative one times negative one half plus one plus one. Okay, let's let's go to the second reaction. <clears throat> so for the second reaction, yung yung inong second reaction ay uh, zero point fifteen. Okay, yung stoichiometric coefficient. Ganon na lita na negative one, negative one half for oxygen <clears throat> tapos positive 1 for carbon monoxide and positive 1 for water. So, ang total number of moles is just to your calculator. That would be 5.76 plus 0.9 then <clears throat> 2, 2 minus 1, 0.5, that's 0 0.5 enough. Plus 0 0.15, the second reaction is also positive 0.5 So, <clears throat> using your calculator, you're also going to get 6.285. So, as you can see, itong ano, it's not really necessary to do this, pero pang double check, ano? To double check. Na tama lahat yung ginawa yung operation earlier. So, I, I hope you <clears throat> you get, you know, you get the technique for multiple reaction uh, using the extent of the reaction concept. <clears throat> So I'm going to to leave you with a, an exercise, okay? And I hope you can solve it. Okay. So please, please try to calculate the exercise. We have approximately three more weeks. 
uh, sana at least matapos natin ng chapter 12. Yun naman kasi yung ibang topics naman madidiscuss yun naman yun sa ano ng sa thermodynamics sa mga sa later courses, no? So, masyado kasi maraming sinaksak na topic dito sa ano, no? So, ang ang necessary lang naman talaga, yun lang yung talaga yung mga unique dito sa <coughs> sa chikal ka na. <coughs> yung hanggang chapter 12 sige. Lemon ko. So, subukan natin matapos. <coughs> so, try try to solve the exercise ha. So, for now, uh, see you see you see you na lang sa susunod na video.